thanks for watching. Today we're going to learn Noel Gallagher's great solo from the song Live Forever by Oasis. Um, it's a really good solo to learn because it's all in G major pentatonic and it's a really good way to learn scales and learn how to solo within scales. Um, hope you enjoy the lesson. If you do, subscribe, put in comments below any other songs that you want to learn and uh, share it with your friends. So, we start the solo off on the 12th fret of the D string and we want to hammer on to the 14th fret two frets up and then we want to hit the G string below it on the 12th fret so that's then we want to bend up the G string on the 14th fret and then bend it back down and pull off and hit the D string on the 14th and then hammer on the G string from the 12th to the 14th. Bend up once again on the G string 14th. So that's bending up, pulling off, hitting the 14th on the D, and then hammering on again on the G. So all together. Finishing on that D string on the 14th again. So slowly. So for the next part, we're playing double stops, and the right hand rhythm is important there. It's two like, short down strokes just on the 12th fret of the D and the G strings. So two, hammer on uh, 12 to 14 on the D string. And then moving your index finger up, barring the A and the D strings now, and then on the A string going 12 to 14. So. Last two notes, which is 10th fret of the A string, and then your index finger on the 9th fret of the D string. Slowly. We then want to slide up with our index finger to the 12th fret of the D string. So sliding up to the 12th, and then hammering on 12 to 14, oh not hammering on, sorry, just hitting the 14, and hammering on 12 to 14 on the G string. And then bending that G string up. Coming back down again and pulling off to the 12th and hitting that D string on the 14th. So. so hammering on 12 to 14 on a G again and then hitting that D string on the 14th again at the end. And then we want to end by hitting them double stops again but just the first one on the D and the G string so hammering on 12 to 14 on the D string and then doing that same thing again not moving up to this one this time just staying on that one so So we now get to that fast run part and we want to slide up to the top E to the 12th fret and then give it some vibrato. So. And on the record he just holds that note, he doesn't re-pick it because he's got a lot of echo and delay going on there so it just keeps that note ringing out. If you don't have it just play the note again a few times just to let it ring out. But if you have the effects just hit it once. So those notes are the 12th fret 
and then you hit the 15th fret on the B string and then you go to the 12th fret of the B string 15th fret of the B string back to the 12th fret then move up to the G string back to the B string back to the G string 4th So the end bit on that G, 12th fret of the G, 14th fret of the G, back to the 12th, 14th for the D, and then back to the 12th for the G. So the next part So on the G string 14, 12, back to 14 And then Bend up on the 14 Come back down And hit the 14th again 12, 14 on the D string 14 Then on the A, 12 to 14. D, 12 to 14. Hit that G string on the 12. And then bend up twice on the 14. So two bends up. Hit it coming down. Pull off to the 12th on the G. Hit that D on the 14th and then finish on the 12th of the G. And then we repeat that same fast riff, but before we go into it, we do a little um, different riff to go into it. So, that's so you slide up using your middle finger to the G string 16th fret. And then on the B string, 15 to 17. And then back to that top E on the 12th. And then that same riff again. And then... Same as before. And then hit that same riff. So this time on the A note, once, twice, three times, on the third time you do the double bend again, so we'll go through it again slowly. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.